Now, let's tell you that Ghana's permanent representative to the OAS, or Organization of American States, Dr. Raid Sonali, has firmly stated that Guyana is a democratic nation and intends to remain so. He was speaking recently during a meeting of the OAS's permanent council. Felicia Valenzuela tells us more. Speaking at a meeting of the OAS Permanent Council, Dr. Riyad Insanali stated that, as recognized by the OAS Elections Observer Mission and other international observers, the general and regional elections on March 2, 2020 was free, fair and orderly and conducted according to the laws of Guyana. He acknowledged that after March 2, there were developments regarding the elections which caused a delay in an official declaration of the results and led to His Excellency President David Granger and the leader of the opposition, Mr. Barrett Jagdio, agreeing to a recount of votes cast in the elections with a CARICOM team leading the observation process. Dr. Insinali also admitted that the process had been delayed further by legal challenges which he said have now added significantly to the jurisprudence related to Ghana's electoral laws and procedures and which serve the purpose of removing legal impediments to the recount. Quote, this is evidence, Mr. Chairman, that Ghana remains governed by the rule of law with a full respect for the separation of powers and the independence of the judiciary. Indeed, there has been no breakdown in the rule of law or public order in Ghana. End of quote. The Ghana representative urged the OAS to note the following facts. That the electoral process is managed by the Ghana Elections Commission, GCOM. That it is an independent body constitutionally charged to conduct and supervise the elections and that the executive branch of government has never tried to influence, interfere with, or instruct GCOM. The president, Dr. Insanali, said, admitted with the agreement of the leader of the opposition to find a way forward by inviting CARICOM to support a recount by GCOM. Quote, at all times, the executive branch, GCOM, and indeed all stakeholders have been respectful of the ruling of the courts, end of quote. The Ghana ambassador said while the electoral process is not yet complete, once the recount is finalized, the results will be cleared in accordance with the law, paving the way for the swearing in of a president. This, he noted, has been repeatedly stated by President Granger. Dr. Insanali also made it clear that in spite of COVID-19, the recount has begun. Felicia Valenzuela, InfoHub.